Riley. Riley's on. Good catch, Riley! Good boy! Right here! What's up, everybody? Today we're out here at Comanche Hills Hunting Preserve. We're gonna go after some pheasants today. We've got a card to fill, and we are going to try to get as many as we can. He's on. No! Oh, well. Justin, come. Justin, come. Boy, he knew it was there, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, come here. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Good work. We got a bird. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, I see one flying across. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Find the birds. Find the birds. Huh. You want to just work up the hill? Find a bird. Find a bird. Where's the bird? Shooting the over and under today. 20 gauge. Then it jumped up in the trees. And I'm going, okay, fly my way, fucker. And he went the other way. And I was shooting through this shit. A lot of the birds went out and went over the pond. Yeah. Totally. They jumped up like five. This guy jumped up a group of three, missed them all. And that's probably what was one of those. Uh -huh. Went down there, jumped up two more. Went down, jumped up one more, and then just jumped another one right there. Riley did a good job with that one though. He searched and searched, turned around, went straight to it, and pushed it out of the back of the tool, uh, uh, back of the brush. Carried my striper tackle box sinkers and all out of the garage and set it on the front porch. <laughs> Oh, look at it. Circle back around. The bird? It's in front of the pool. Oh, yeah. The dog's still chasing it. It's going to go all the way to the house. Yeah. Good boy, Chester. Get the bird. Good boy. Bring him here. Drop. Drop. There we go. Yep. Yeah, as soon as he went to go hunker down, he turned around and faced I the field. <laughs> and walk under the fence right there. And then they're home free because that's all private property on the other side. Smart birds. We're going to head on through this brush right here back to the truck. Not spend a whole lot of time down here. A lot of heavy cover back here. Good for the labs because they just power straight through that. And there's a specific way to hunt this. If you don't go the right direction, you know, if you come from this side, walk this way, you're just gonna push all the birds to the fence. They're gonna flare at the fence and then be on private property. We're gonna make it down to the pond here. 
push something to the water if it doesn't just jump up right away. In areas like this, especially during the midsummer when everything's really dry out, keep an eye out for logs, especially for the dogs too. You don't want to go kicking anything over because there's a good chance of having rattlesnakes up here. Be mindful, watch where you step. So speaking on behalf of Labradors, when you're hunting upland game birds, like pheasants or chuckers or quail, you'll watch your dogs. If they're moving, kind of like how he's moving right now, fast paced, you know, nose in the air every once in a while, he's just searching, trying to find a scent. But as soon as you see them do like he's doing right there where he stops, nose down, tail starts wagging, and then their head starts beating back and forth, that means that he's on a scent right now. Maybe an old scent, maybe a new scent, but you'll see their head hunker down to the ground and start really moving methodically back and forth trying to pick up on which direction the scent is going. Pheasants are very, very smart birds in the sense that if they want to hide, they are going to hide better than anything you've ever seen. They can take grass that's barely this tall and bury themselves under it. And even if a dog is pointing or trying to flush him, they will stay under that grass as long as they can. Good boy. You mousing? Quit mousing. Yeah, they'll stay under that grass or that cover as long as they can. And you'll want to keep an eye out too. As you're walking around, make sure you look off into the distance. Make sure you're looking down at your feet as you're walking. Because if you look across this field, you got green, you got brown grass. What you're looking for is a little white ring and a lot of times that white ring around their neck will stand out. That will be a dead giveaway. They could be standing up off in the distance or maybe a little bit hunkered down. And as far as looking down at your feet, there's been plenty of times where the dog will be off in the distance over here or over here. You're walking through cover and all of a sudden you look down like right here and there will be a bird hunkered down right there. Wild pheasants are going to be more skittish and faster. The planted pheasants, they still get up and move, but in comparison, if you've ever been wild pheasant hunting versus club pheasant hunting or planted pheasants, you can definitely tell the difference on speed. The uh, wild pheasants have a lot more survival instinct because they're out there fighting a lot more predators. So what we're gonna do here to finish up in this field, we're gonna head over to this fence line Walk that back over to the truck. See if there's anything that we missed. Good boy, find a bird. One other thing to keep in mind about your dogs, no matter what kind of dog you're hunting with, their energy level, where they're at, because when it's hot out, or even when it's not, they're working their tail off, and they got a good chance of overheating. So you definitely don't want to push them past what they're capable of and burning them out. Make sure they stay hydrated. Make sure you're near a water source. If you're not near a water source and you know it, bring a couple bottles of water in your vest for them and uh, give them water periodically. Are you our Uber? Yep, I'm your Uber. <laughs> well, if you want to hunt the afternoon, we'll just go check in and hunt the afternoon. Let's do it. I don't want to go home yet. Okay. Well, we got done with what we were doing and decided that it wasn't enough. So we went back to the clubhouse and had us a couple beverages and we we're coming back out for the afternoon shoot. Try to get what time we can and maybe pick up a couple more birds. Keep going. Come please. on. Just keep going. No, too much brake lights. Yeah. Yes. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. <laughs> All right. Find a birds. That'll be perfect timing because that'll give everybody in D a chance to push some birds over to the hill. Riley, 
Bradley's on. Good catch, Riley! Good boy! Bring it here! Bring it here! Shot. Straight up! I have never seen him fly completely vertical. Good boys! Look at the fucking tail feather. And we didn't get into the long tail contest. That could be 26 and a half. Boy, Riley was all over that, one. Did you see him? Oh, he's on. Get up there. Come on, old timer. I don't know who hit it. It doesn't matter. That's all you. Look, look where you are. Uh -huh. Past the trees up the hill. Just your cup. I told you you couldn't bring your deer rifle. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Good boy, Bubba. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, here we go another one. He's putting birds over here. <laughs> Getting a good workout today. Dad uh, turned around with Chester. He was pretty obviously getting tired, so Riley had a little more pep in his step. So we decided to come up to the side of the hill and finish off going across the top. 1242 and it's 60 degrees out right now. Feels a lot hotter than that, of course. We're making our way back to the truck now. Been a very, very good day. When you're in areas like this, it doesn't hurt to look up in the trees because oftentimes they'll just be sitting up there on the branch staring at you. See, he keeps getting turned around right now. He's got a scent. See how his tail changes? He's on something. Good boy. Where's the bird? Now it could be running too. I didn't touch any of that hillside back there. So there could be something in there. Yeah, no, I, I went over the top and then just around the base. So you're welcome to it. Both those scent trails that he was tracking earlier could have been old from this morning. They're still gonna leave that scent. However, it's not gonna be as strong as if they're is a bird sitting there and there's also the possibility that there was a bird and, and we missed it riley's been doing a really good job but i think everybody's getting a little tired well that ended up being an awesome awesome hunt this morning and afternoon we ended up with five birds today had a great time the dogs had a great time getting out getting some exercise we had a great time got some exercise and that was a good good memory Two more nice birds right there. Just a great day here up at Comanche Hills. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like if you did like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell over there if you want to see when I post videos every week. I'll see you next time.